Okay, Wednesday's lesson. Uh, well, I'm going to give you a forewarning. There's going to be some examples in this lesson. They're going to be a little bit long, um, but I know that they're on the EOC, so we're going to go ahead and cover them and make sure you guys know how to do them. All right, quadratic word problems today. Now, remember, this is your quadratic function. Yesterday's word problems dealt with um, finding the vertex and using that information. Today, it's going to deal with factoring. All right, we're going to factor these word problems. That means we're going to be setting them equal to zero and solving them. Basically, we're finding the zeros, okay? Um, remember, we covered that lesson about finding zeros. And don't forget that there's questions about finding a negative zero or finding a positive zero. All right, I won't use that wording today, but you'll see why there's an importance between the negatives and the positive zeros. All right, so... This is for when the y value represents a value of zero. For example, when would an object hit the ground? The ground has a height of zero feet, so we'd set it equal to zero. When will a diver hit the water? The height of the water is zero feet, so we'd be setting that equal to zero and solving. All right, all the, you got four examples. All four examples are gonna deal with setting it equal to zero, solving, and then using that information to answer the question.